the Your Business Makeover team is on the road again. They're just passing through historic Mystic, Connecticut. We must be getting close. We're passing Foxwood Resorts, another huge tourist destination. It looks like we've arrived. All right, let's get to work. Let's help this business. You must be Erica. I am. I'm Mike Michalowicz. I'm the author of The Pumpkin Plants. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So I heard you called MSNBC, and you need some help. I do. All right. Well, first thing, let's take a quick tour of the place, and let's talk while we walk. 36-year-old Erica Hall is the owner of Abby's Lantern Hill Inn in Ledyard, Connecticut. She ran this seven-room bed and breakfast for nearly eight years until she Very bought it in there. 2011. So guests often sit around here at night and have a nice little it, campfire. It's absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely secluded. We recently got Erica's letter. In it, she told us that she is so trapped by daily chores and outdated technology that she has absolutely no time to build her business. What frustrates you most about your business? Sometimes I feel like I'm a hamster in a cage, just running in place but not really getting anywhere, just spinning the wheel and, you know, just stuck. From where she sits, it may seem like she's stuck, but that's not how we see it. What she needs right now is a makeover. So you're doing marketing, interior decorating, gardening, repairs, accounting. Um, you're a chef? Yeah, cook cooking, reservations all the time, fielding all the phone calls. As she went through this long list of jobs, the problem with the way she runs her business became incredibly clear. So you're in what I call the classic hub and spoke model. And many businesses that struggle in growing to the next level are stuck like this. The owner, that's you, are in the middle. What I want to do is transfer this into a traditional uh, organizational chart. Because until we start pushing you up the org chart, you'll never be managing the business. You're going to be running in the minutia. While mastering all these daily details is absolutely necessary, an owner also needs to understand the big picture. And that's where Mike's questions revealed some important gaps. And so what's your break-even point? How many people do you need? So I've kind of, I haven't like done a specific accounting, but my guesstimate is that I need to sell out weekends year-round to cover my expenses. Many entrepreneurs let their accounting slide even though they know better. The same often goes for keeping up with current technology. So you take reservation phone calls? It's not done on the web? We don't have online booking. So you're taking the reservations yourself? Yep, all of them. Looking at Erica's website, we realized that not only was the style out of date, but the pictures were old. And even some of the rooms themselves looked in need of a makeover. That's when we called in the Your Business SWAT team. First up, Andrew Gianelli. Andrew is an expert decorator from Bucks County, Pennsylvania, who specializes in inns and small hotels. We asked him to take a look at Erica's website and pick the one room most in need. Hey, Erica, I wanted you to meet Andrew Gianelli. Hi, hi. Nice to meet you. The room they decided to make over is here in this cottage. It's called Chateau Eve. Though, to be honest, it doesn't really look like chateau material. And Erica must have agreed, because so before we even arrived, she started making her yeah, own repairs to, uh, to the plaster. But a lot of the colors are heavy, a lo uh, you know, it, not outdated, but just heavy. And it's personal. You know, we can't take personality, and this is not your home anymore. This is your business. What's your feelings about what, what Andrew's saying? Yeah, I didn't like the thing about the dark colors because I get huge rave reviews on the color scheme in there and the decor. So, yeah, I wasn't feeling it about the... Well, it's not a put down. It's just a, a personal thing for you. Mm -hmm. And like an artist, you need to step away from where you live, where you work, and go out, come back and look at it with a fresh mm -hmm. eye. Right, but I um, also don't want to look like every single other B&B out there. You want to make more money. we got to get out of here. He's got a lot oh, of work God. to do. Okay, I, I want to get to the brass tacks. Okay. Honestly, first impression. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yes. Um, the website's bad. The picture's bad. And this is just proof of the pudding. What's your thoughts of Erica and how she was listening to Erica you? is stubborn. I'm slightly skeptical about what he's going to actually produce, but, you know, I'm willing to give him a shot and see what he can do. Scale 1 to 10, what's the room right now? Uh, zero. <laughs> <laughs> the jury's definitely still out, so, on what he's saying. We gave Andrew a modest budget and 24 hours to show his stuff. When he's done, we'll see if Erica can be convinced.
Meanwhile, Mike wasted no time introducing Erica to the next member of our team, Don Brolin. Don's a local accountant who specializes in QuickBooks financial software. So give Don a little sense for how you're doing your accounting now. Uh, I'm not really. How do you track stuff? I mean, you gotta be tracking stuff. Um, I don't. I have money coming in and I pay my bills and I see what's in my, uh, you know, business checking account and that's about it. Right. Listen, now you're starting to blow my mind. How do you track your taxes? Well, I pay my, you know, sales tax, but um, for my 2011 taxes, I just guessed. You, you guessed? I guesstimated. I sent it, I like kind of guesstimated and sent in an amount. I hope you guessed high, because that could be a <laughs> trouble if you guessed low. I think I guessed higher, accurate. Okay. I'm thinking. That's a technical foul, we call it. Uh, should yeah. we go look at the books? Let's go look at the books. All right, show us All where, right. where Show us it? where they are. Uh-oh. Literally. We want to see it. <laughs> so, okay. All right. So this is the, uh, this is the office? Yeah. This, <laughs> this is where it all happens. I'm glad to see you have accounting records. So those aren't mine. That's the previous business owner. Um, okay. These are mine right here. All right. So it looks like you followed from... their system. They headed back upstairs where Don got Erica started on a QuickBooks account. Go ahead and hit finish. All right. Now, we've already created the bank account. Uh, all right. You have to be brutally honest with me. Erica's taking care of something upstairs. Sure. What's your first impression? Hot mess. First, first interpretation of what I've seen here. Um, not, again, not abnormal, but frightening. Can, can a business really operate like this? Well, they can for not very long. They won't be in business very long like this. Okay, but you feel confident we can fix it? We can get on track? We can always fix it. It can always be fixed. While Don and Erica finished up with QuickBooks and Andrew was busy working on the chateau, we asked Andrew's son, photographer Christian Gianelli, to get started taking a fresh set of professional quality photos for the new website. This is Christian Gianelli. He is one of the preeminent photographers specifically for bed and breakfasts and inns in the nation. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. And he's donated his time to help us out here. So tell us what you got going on. Well, um, uh, I'm just setting up the lights in here. Uh, just, you know, interior photography. Um, a, lot of, a lot of it has to do with creating your own light. Erica was so eager to see the new photography wow. that she persuaded Christian to give her a preview. Wow, that's amazing. That looks so nice. That's the patio. Wow, oh my God, the Down East room looks incredible. So far, Erica loves Christian Gianelli's photos. She's got a new accounting system that she didn't even know she needed and a room makeover that she's not quite sure that she even wants. But she is still so busy working in her business, doing all these daily chores, and hasn't yet figured out a way to get on top of it to guide her business. So when we come back, some more surprises and a plan. It's morning in Ledyard, Connecticut at Abby's Lantern Hill Inn. And the owner, Erica Hall, is showing Mike the secret ingredients to her delicious French toast breakfast. So your world famous French toast takes you about two minutes to... Um, yep, it's all in the ingredients, just using really high-quality ingredients. The fre French baguette's a secret, and I have this bottle of vanilla that I made myself. I yeah. take um, vanilla beans, chop them up, and I put see. them in vodka. What? Yeah. That is good. Erica's in luck today because we called TripAdvisor.com's Brian Paye. Beautiful property. Thank you. And when he looked at her site, he had lots of suggestions. One of Erica's big concerns was filling her weekday vacancies. And trying to figure out how to bring them in in the middle of the week, you know, is, is a, something that most properties like this sort of struggle with. Brian recommended that Erica put an ad on his site, giving people a special offer, like a discount if they stay more than two nights instead of just the weekend. The kind of offers that extend the weekend, you know, give them a reason to stay a little bit longer and fill the rooms. Brian gave Erica a year's worth of extra services designed to increase her traffic. Yeah, definitely great suggestions and not too difficult to implement. So. And I have a little sneaky suspicion you've won the last surprise. We do. But I thought about one of the best experiences I had at a b and and it was the warm bread in the morning. So I think we have a little surprise for you out in the car. Wow. Looks awesome. Oh, yeah. The Longy bread maker. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Load it up yeah. at night and have fresh bread in the morning. That's awesome. Everyone will wake yeah. up to that great smell. Then the Skype call came in. 
It was Jeff Bryce from Reservation Nexus in Salem, Utah. His company makes one of the top systems for online bookings for hotels. So Erica, I want to introduce you to Jeff Bryce of Res Nexus. He does reservation systems specifically for inns like this. Jeff, please meet Erica. Thank you, Mike. Erica, it's good to meet you. Good Welcome. to meet you too, Jeff. We will match up our reservation page to your website and showcase the experience that you offer there with your rooms and allow guests to book right online. Sounds great. So what's your thoughts? Fears changing over? We I'm lose? a little nervous. I'm used to making that personal contact, getting a sense of the person that's going to be coming in. What kind of time savings? Are we going to cut two hours down to what do you think per day? I could see you cutting that time uh, in half initially. And then over time, the majority of that time spent uh, will be spent in other areas. If I'm hearing an hour a day times a full year, 365 hours. That sounds like a vacation, maybe. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> Online booking has pretty much become the industry standard. And Erica says that without it, she's sure she's lost out on a lot of reservations. The footsteps I wanted to hear. Denise. Denise Blasevic, owner of the S3 agency in Boonton, New Jersey, offered to redo Erica's website, incorporating all these new elements. This really has more of a, a modern flair to it. So we call this modern rustic because it shows you, again, big picture up front, which would rotate and show you a few aspects on the home page. You see that right away, but it's got that book now. People want to have the easy, quick book now called out. First impression. So my right off the bat impression is that I like this one a lot better. I think it's a little bit more exciting, a little bit more hip, modern. With a new web design chosen and the photos and online reservation system in place, filling those rooms should take less effort. But what about that cottage makeover? What will Erica think? Okay, let's get her in position. Okay, you ready? Okay. Three, Three two, two, one. Wow. <laughs> wow, really cool. Yeah, definitely. It's very cool. <laughs> very different. Is it the same bed? Yeah. Without, <laughs> it's a new headboard. Woo! So cool. That is neat. Wow. You guys made that. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. And then you took the mirror and painted it. It yeah. looks so much better. Scale one to ten. What's the room now? Put me on the spot. I would definitely say, um, compared to where we came from, I would give it a nine for sure. Okay. And the yeah. customers, they'll give it a? I think you've got a good nine, ten to ten. I think so, too. I think too. you've got more income coming from it now. Uh, definitely. I think there's a lot of positive things that we've created for you besides putting new sheets on a bed. Well, they, they were happy with it. I mean, they seemed fairly happy before, so now I think they're going to be totally blown yeah. away. It's looking like Erica may have finally found a way to get beyond the details and at last get on top of her business. All right, so it's been a whirlwind of two days. What's your thoughts? I mean, I'm just flabbergasted by all how far I've gone forward with the business through you guys in two days. It's been pretty amazing. New website, new photos, new online booking system. So when everyone's running around like a wild person, yourself included, I was sitting down drawing this chart right here, tracking what your roles are. And I documented every role that you play. All these 25 positions are played by you. Before, you spent about zero hours a day actually running the entire business and overseeing it. You were in the minutia. Now I think you're about four hours a day freed up to actually run and control this business. Absolutely. Good. It was an absolute pleasure hanging out and working with you. You too, Mike. Yeah, Thanks take care. Thanks so much.